Last week, I posted a video sharing one of the ways I kickstart my creativity when I'm not feeling inspired. Today, I'm delving into another personal strategy, repurposing the treasures in my collection of junk and packaging. Join me as we craft a window pocket drawing inspiration and materials directly from the treasures I've gathered. Welcome, it's Barbara from Vienna, Austria. So here are the two pieces I chose for today's project. This one will just be inspiration because it is super thick. But I've had this in my hands so many times and I really like the idea of having this round see-through window. And I thought I could use this spaghetti packaging as the inside of the window instead of using acetate. So I want this to be a pocket for my planner because you can never have enough pockets, right? <laughs> so I'm going to use this beautiful vintage book page as my base for the pocket. And since this is quite brittle, I'm going to back this with some cardstock. I don't think I needed the full size, so I will first cut this down a little bit. And these beautifully aged edges of my paper are actually perfect for adding sentiments to either stamping or if you have a vintage typewriter or even hand dried sentiments and then add them to your projects. So next I'm going to glue this book page onto my cardstock with a glue stick. So this is the one of the few times I will use a glue stick just because it's easy to cover the whole surface without my paper warping. So if you're using a book page that is sturdy, then you can skip this step. Next I'm going to ink up my edges with walnut stain. Next, I can decide on the size of my hole. No worries if you don't have a die cut machine, you can easily just trace something, maybe a washi tape roll or something, or maybe you have something bigger, like a cup or something that you could trace and cut out. The size might be nice, or do we go even bigger? No, I think that's kind of too big. We'll take this size. So we have a hole and we have this circle and I should have probably done this before, but it doesn't really matter. <laughs> I'm just gonna place this back in here. I want to add a little bit of gesso on top I like using this one from Action. It's very cheap and it's quite see-through. And I'm using my brayer, so I'll put some of it straight onto the brayer. Once that has dried, I'm going to take some frayed burlap. Yes, I said it right. <laughs> going to add it here to my mat, spray some water, go through it with my finger, and then put my book page into it. Spray some more water. and dry that with my heat gun. But I also don't want to waste this, so I'll just take some copy paper and dip that in. So this is what that looks like once it has dried. And then I'll add some brushed corduroy. Do the same thing. And also dip that in. This will give it a little more depth because we have two different color tones. 
and I think I'm just going to leave it well let's do one more down here yeah I'm just going to leave that and dry that again I'm going to use this copy paper to pick up some of this brushed corduroy this will be gorgeous collage fodder and then let's add some water splatters actually I think I'll do this with my hand to get bigger splatters So that we get a nice oxide effect we see that changing already let's use a kitchen towel to soak that water up this effect never ceases to amaze me oh wow oops all of these droplets were from the water now absolutely gorgeous Let's re-ink those edges because those have pretty much completely disappeared. I'm not sure yet what to do with this circle, if I'm going to use it at all. It's beautiful. Whether I use it in this project or another one, it's absolutely gorgeous. So I think I want my pocket like this. What we could do is place the circle like this kind of like we have here we have this smaller circle here going into this bigger one and mine are the same size but it doesn't matter i'm thinking of putting an image on here which would unfortunately cover some of this i have this vintage cigar box and in here i have these beautiful vintage bird images that i cut out of a book and some of you have received some of these if you bought an ephemera holder from me i've added some of these to some of your books and since i know that my theme for my planner for april is going to be birds i think if i add a bird here that would fit so well to the kit even though the colors are completely different than what i see here maybe i can find something which is not so green and yellow i wish i could scan some of these for you but these are copyrighted so i cannot Ooh, i like this one a lot looks like a dove right yep it's a felsentaube that would be like a rock dove <laughs> i'll keep that one in mind i'm keeping the colors of my kit in my mind you can see that in my next plan with me video coming up Ooh, he would be actually very cool it's a raven but he's too wintry for me i want something that looks more like spring Oh, I like this one. Oh, she's so cute. Looks like a female because she has such pretty eyes. <laughs> Doesn't really match the colors of my kit though. Not that it really matters because I actually don't want all my month to look the same. He could be cute. It's either this guy or the dove. I think the dove is too big. Let's take him. And I don't want to lose all of the circle. Not the circle, what are you saying, Barbara? I don't want to lose all of this design. So I'm kind of reluctant to use this one because that covers too much. I would rather do this one, but that looks weird. That's a huge border. No, we'll just do this one and we'll not think about beauty that we're covering. Yeah, look, he's perfect. Let's ink him up as well. Then I'll glue him down just in the middle because I'm also going to stitch around him. So two wonky stitched circles with black thread. So he can go here. Then I also want to ink up our window here 
So then we need to add our packaging. So I'll just cut this apart. Yes, I like this. It's not as clear as the acetate. That's totally fine. Mm -hmm. There's a shiny side and there's a matte side. Hmm, what do we want on the front? I'll actually add this shiny side to the front. So we'll just add some glue around all of the edges. Then I'll also add some stitching around the circle and probably even around my pocket. But I'm just thinking now, I probably want my pocket to have some sort of a, either a half circle or a notch or something here. I decided for the notch, so I'm taking my envelope punch board. There are also punches, like small punches that make these kind of notches. I'm not sure what they're called, but you don't need the whole envelope punch board if you want something like this. I just really like that shape. So we have two wonky circles around our window and we have some zigzag stitching around the edge. And I just think it adds so much character to any project. So then we can attach him, but I feel like it's still missing some contrast there. So I think I will first add some splatters with my walnut stain. Take my splatter brush. These are called fan brushes in case you're looking for something like this. I recently got the question in my comments because if you search for splatter brushes, you're going to get something a little bit differently. Let's add some on him as well. Just cover up his face. So I just used my heat gun on this. Please be very careful when you have something with plastic. Your heat gun will melt the plastic. So what I did now, because I have learned this the hard way multiple times, I covered this with my cloth, but still you have to be careful because it still gets warm, but not enough to melt the plastic. I like the effect here. So we see all these cute little spots, but it's not enough contrast for me here. So the spots are these here and they don't really come out enough. So I want something even darker. Let's try some of this Distress Spray Stained Vintage Photo. Obviously you can also just use watercolor. I'm just being lazy here. Maybe I'll add a little bit of water because this is quite dark. Yes, this is more what I had in mind. And of course, we'll add some to our collage fodder. This is much more what I had in mind. Love that. Also here on this one. The only thing I think it still needs is a darker edge. So I'll use my ground espresso to go around both this circle and our pocket. So then we can glue on our circle. It's kind of too bad because this is where the best grunge is. <laughs> Should we maybe put him down here? Hmm. And either way, it will cover up a lot. Do we like him better there or there? No, I'll keep him up here. That's how I had it planned. And lastly, I also want to add a sentiment. I have these here from Stampers Anonymous and Tim Holtz with the name and number Tiny Text CMS 394. 
this one I think would work, work well. Collect beautiful moments because it's a pocket and I'm going to be adding something in there. It works size-wise. Now we can just use one of the vintage paper strips that we cut and stamp it on there. So I don't know on which page in my April planner signature this is going to go. So I'm not actually going to glue it in yet, but just so that we get an idea what it would look like on a coffee dyed page. Oh, I think that's really cute. I might even add a background onto that. I don't know yet, but how fun to have a piece of junk, a piece of packaging inspire us to make a pocket. <laughs> And if you're looking for more ideas of how to use your packaging and junk, you might also enjoy this video right here. Love you guys. Mwah. Mwah.